Hi, this is Peter from OpenBOM. Today we're going to see how to import data from other systems like PLM or PDM. So the first thing you can do is uh, start by importing uh, your vendors, uh, proof vendors list from your PLM. So you should have that on either as a CSV or an Excel file. So we can start by importing a vendors list directly from Excel. So um, is this example just a legacy table with vendors? Uh, and all they have, they have just uh, vendor names, contacts, uh, etc. So we just open that file so you can have a quick look uh, in terms of the format and how it looks. So vendor number, name, address. So we can import this directly uh, from uh, from Excel. So this will be a first step, just to import your vendors list. Uh, the next step would be uh, creating a, a catalog for your your items uh, list. So you should also have a, like a, an export from all items information. So we can start by creating a new catalog. Uh, let's say give your company name. And uh, from here, we can just set that vendor list as yours. So I've used a uh, second import, so it'll be the, 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 this one. And uh, let's import. Uh, now uh, data from your master parts list. So you can import directly from Excel. Uh, so this will be just a list of parts, looks also something like this. So you have thumbnails, uh, some attributes, or properties. Uh, we can bring this data directly to, to OpenBOM uh, on import. So let's do that, just import. Uh, notice that you need to select which row will be uh, where you have your column names. So the default is row number nine, so that it, that row over there. So just uh, import it, and uh, if you already have data, it will also append, so there's a notification just saying that, so if I say okay, and you will have uh, all your art data uh, in. Now you can import also your bill of materials from your previous system, so we can create a new uh, part number here just for uh, an example on importing uh, data. So let's uh, just create a, a part number here, uh, just quickly. We can also automate the generation of part numbers, but this will be just an example. So we can uh, see how that works. And from here, let's create a bill of material and then import data into it. So if you have multiple products to import, you can also create uh, just from a single Excel file, you know, all, all products uh, in one go. I'll show you also the contents of this bill material. So let's um, create a new bomb from here. And um, let's uh, then just import from Excel the existing data. So, so the Excel file looks something like this. So it will be just a part number in quantity. So all the remaining attributes will, uh, will go from the catalog. So from the item master or like attributes or properties like description, vendor. So you only basically need level, uh, which is uh, like the multi-level tree structure. This is item number one, position one, two. And then if you want to bring a sub-assembly, this will be the first child of that assembly. So uh, let's uh, bring this one in and uh, see the result. So let's do that. And uh, off you go, you have a multi-level bill of material just import it and uh, as you can see all that items uh, multi-level are in uh, in position number six you can see that indentation there so here uh, also if you didn't populate the catalog you can also then select the right catalog for it and all the remaining data would populate so you can also do that by selecting the catalog and the data would be in so uh, as you can see now, the catalog is uh, populated. You can also use a template so you don't have to do this uh, again. So you can also bring data directly from your uh, previous PDM system. So if you have received like a, a data, we can go into design and then you import and use your legacy CAD data. You can start by creating a new project.
and then uh, map this with your local workspace manager. So install this tool in your machine. Uh, it would uh, have the next project refresh there. You can only, all you only need to do is just map your current uh, location where you have your data, just using this temporary data right now. And uh, you can just click on Smart Sync and all your data should will be uploaded to OpenBOM uh, storage. So if we go, if we look into some of the data might be already coming in and you can start seeing. So as you can see, it's very easy to uh, move data from uh, your existing systems like PDM, PLM. Uh, and uh, if you like this video, just register at openbomb.com and start a trial. Thank you.